Hello and welcome to part two of my room uh, on US1. So, like I was saying last time, keeping the clay in front of the wood and the wood in front of the iron, I've been doing that. I need to keep the wheat at half of the clay production now. I was just keeping this at a positive number, but it's getting far along now, far enough along now that I need to keep this wheat at 120 because the clay is at 240 so that's half of the clay so I'll upgrade a wheat now now all I've been doing is I ended up working out which one of these were worthwhile getting there was like the marketplace the barracks the city wall the residence stuff like that um, so I did some of those tasks that were worthwhile when I was running out of resources so that's done I've been sending my hero on adventures now in beginners protection my hero I have in his attributes I have one point in fighting strength and three in resources this is just in beginners protection then after beginners protection I'll be changing I'll be using the Book of Wisdom and I'll be changing it to all fighting strength and then I'll be raiding Oasis and doing what I was showing in the AU3 where I'll go for top attackers just with health regen items and by attacking Oasis with the hero. But I'll be doing that once I'm out of beginner's protection. Um, I'll decide closer to the time whether I'm going to extend this if it gives me the option. Um, now, growth-wise, because I'm only doing resource tiles, it's not as fast as I would normally be, but I was rank 800 in the first video. Uh, I joined an alliance that was rank number one. It's in the southwest, <clears throat> and the guys seem pretty organized. They've got a Skype channel. I was about... 60 or 70 population behind the lowest person when they invited me so it was good that they invited me they trusted me and I've caught up now so uh, what else okay last time I spoke about a static defense this is the way to stop people from raiding your village so you do not need active troops for this to work until you get to catapults and rams this works so I'll walk you through it now there's three things you need for a static defense and by static I mean it runs itself it sits there and it defends you no matter what whether you're online offline or whether you have troops or not um, so you need three things you need a cranny you need a residence and you need your wall so your residence provides a defensive value by itself and this is amplified by your wall and then if any troops survive which they will because this these two together don't kill all of the troops they're just trying to kill some of the troops now if you kill some of the troops but still give up resources then you're making it worthwhile for the raiders and they will come back despite losing some troops so you need to upgrade your cranny as well when you're coming out of beginners protection so that when they do raid you they don't get any resources and they will lose troops so you can check out how much you'll need in the rally point this has a combat simulator you can change so I'm Roman defender we'll say that it's a Teuton since they are normally the attackers simulate will change to these guys so we can change so right now I have a level 1 residence of course I won't have this when I'm out of beginner's protection but I'll just say for now that I have one and one and that we've got 
two clubs raiding us, so he's not going to lose any clubs. So you need your residence and your wall to be at the point where these raiders that are making their farm less will lose their club swingers. So, oh, sorry, I've taken my phone off silent again. This same thing happened last video. Okay. Now, if I upgrade this to level 2, simulate attack, doesn't lose a club swinger, upgrade my wall to level 2 as well. And there you go. So, just a level 2 residence and level 2 wall, which is super cheap and easy to get will kill a club swinger so if he oh they're called maceman now maybe it's just the us version anyway so if he changes that to five then you see that he doesn't lose them anymore so i find that a good number to have is say a level five residence don't worry that this is palace, because palace and residence have the same defensive value, and your palace is only going to be in your capital. So 5 and 5, I found, is good for them losing club swingers, no matter how many they send. So even if he sends 50, he's going to lose one. So this is a good number. This you can stay with and upgrade your cranny and no one is going to raid you regularly if they do they it's because they don't check their farm list or their reports and they're going to regret that because they're not getting resources and they're losing troops so the whole idea is that you have a passive defense like this and no one wants to raid you they lose troops they don't get resources they take you off their farm list you're happy and they don't lose troops anymore so everyone's happy um so that's the static defense that's probably what's next in the strategy that's coming out of beginner's protection um what else do i need to cover i've had a few questions as well oh, two questions um are romans my favorite tribe Yes, for end game hammers because they are so strong. Their offensive value for the amount of wheat is insane. Um, not so much early game, but yeah, they're overall they're very strong. Um, goal is my favorite for playing solo and raiding and because tt is awesome and they're good for tactical plays like counter-attacking because they have such fast troops so gaul are probably my favorite overall romans are my favorite for end game and then teutons i like only if i'm playing on an account with someone else because i don't want to be active 24 hours a day and that's basically what you have to be with Teutons. Um, so Romans are for endgame, they are for offense overall, goal are for just general play and tactical things. I just find them fun and I love raiding with TTs. Uh, and thank you very much for the comment. So glad you're posting again. In my opinion, you provide the best Travian vids by far, in-depth analysis and careful. Well, thank you. I'll try to keep it up. Uh, next time, I don't remember what I said in the first that I'd cover when I said I was getting ahead of myself, but I'll have a look back at the first video and see what the next thing to cover is, and I'll cover that tomorrow. So static defense, residence, wall, cranny. You don't need an active defense at the very start. When you start building an active defense of troops, like Praetorians and Legionnaires, you are going to be dodging with them, especially if someone's attacking you for the first time. Just dodge, see what they've attacked you with, keep dodging, keep dodging, keep building more troops and dodging, 
come into the combat simulator, you say that it's her goal attacking you with, say is attacking you with a hundred swords, then you say, I have my level five palace and my level five wall, and this guy's attacking me, he's not losing anything, I only have 20 legionnaires at the moment and 10 praetorians, what's going to happen if I leave them in the village? They're going to get annihilated, so how many do I need so that I can kill this guy? So how many times do I need to dodge so that I can take out his troops? So we'll say 50 and 70. So you'd see this and you'd go, well, I don't want to lose more troops than him, so I'm going to keep dodging. He might be up to 120 by then. Still not worthwhile. So you can see why you have to dodge. And you can even say if I increase city wall value, So it's worthwhile when you're starting to catch up to his numbers with your Praetorians. Now, this is when you would stop dodging and you'd leave your troops in the village to kill a large portion of his troops. If you don't dodge the troops and you're just sitting here and you get attacked, you lose all of these, you start rebuilding, by the time he attacks the next time, you only have half that amount, he's lost 25, so he's down to 95, you lose all of your troops again, he'll be rebuilding as well, so we'll say that he's lost 5, this is all hypothetical of course, you've only built these again, so you see what I mean? You're going to be losing your troops over and over and over again for no reason when not doing any damage to him. So you need to dodge. Don't worry that you're not actively defending your village. Just keep dodging until you have enough that you can defend it properly in one defense. Uh, you can add your hero values to that combat simulator as well. And I can show you as well how to counterattack. So you could follow those swords home with your hero, but it's a goal and you have to worry about traps. This video has gone for too long, so I will talk tomorrow. Cheers.